Yeah, dog. I'm finna roll by the VIP and pick up that new Snoop Dogg tape. Hey. The game is to be sold, not to be told, you heard? Oh, no yeah, VIP, the one on California no Street. Ain't no limit. You know, on PCH. Yeah, yeah. No limit. Where are the homies at? V to the I to the Pizzy. Welcome to the LBC. If you ever come to Long Beach, you fucking with the VIP. Straight up. Warren G, Nate Dog, Snoop, Domino, the the Dove Shack, the Twins, all the motherfuckers started right in this bitch, right here. Before I became a rapper, the VIP was like the place to go if you you know were, were a rapper, you wanted to showcase your skills for people who was in the music industry, and the VIP was the closest to the music industry, considering that Calvin was dealing with all of the the artists that was making records and putting out their music, so it was a direct connect. And um, once I started making music, I got a relationship with Calvin and some of the employees at the VIP, and they allowed me and my cousin Daz and Warren G and uh, LC, Slice, we was able to come up here and work and make some, you know, quality music that was like mixtape material. And eventually the music was, you know, strong enough to get us a, a record deal. So the VIP has been special to me in so many different ways. That's why I shot my first video here. When I put my record out, I made sure that the VIP was the first place that you can get the album. Long Beach is the spot where my serve my candy. First of all, I wanted to shoot a video in the city that I was from because we had never had a video in Long Beach. Second of all, I wanted to come to a location that was monumental and a location that was uh, really the centerpiece of Long Beach. So by choosing the VIP and having a director like Fab Five Freddy and Dr. Dre, it uh, it, it magnified the, the abilities of what we could do with the video. And it became a classic video. The look of it, the shot of it, the sound of it, the whole delivery of the video. And I'm just glad to be a part of it. I'm glad that I could say that I brought that to the VIP. For them doing what they did for me, that was like a payback. You know, for giving me the opportunity to hone my skills and to become a rapper. For me, when I make it, to come back and make VIP the hottest spot in hip hop. And to this day, the VIP is known as one spot that artists from all over and people from all over just want to come and take pictures of for the simple fact that it's a love thing. The love that they've given me is a love that I've taken outside of the city. I took Long Beach with me everywhere I went. I took the VIP with me everywhere I went because there's certain things that I was taught that I learned on the east side that were instilled in me that I take with me everywhere I go. I scraped up a couple of little mixtapes. He, 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 this was a store that actually first put any music out there, period, for me. And he helped me, you know, push my product. If you were any, gonna have any kind of success in the game, you brought your shit here first. This was the first place that carried my album when I signed to Ruthless Records in 94. My, well, I put my album out in 94, I signed in 93. And this was like the first mom and pop that carried my, my CD and my cassette, bro. That's what it was about. Everybody has a love for Calvin because he's like a porthole to success. And and if and Snoop did it, you know, Warren, a lot of people came from here. That's when you buy your tape, bro. Say VIP. Some of these. Some of these. VIP. 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 Some of these. Calvin was the catalyst, and the VIP was the heartbeat. But success, this all came because. He said, y'all can make it. I, I believe it. I love that sound. This is like, was one of the best places to be in the music business or whatever type of creative art you was doing. It was the best place to be, you know what I'm saying? You can get alive, you can get uplifted when you was feeling down and out. This was the, this was the scene to be at. You guys may consider it the people that took the wrong road in life, but he embraced them and let them know that there was more to it than, you know, you have a talent. You know, you don't have to be out here doing that. Your talent can actually pay you, you know, and I'll help you if you'd like to do that. When I first went in there, they had to ship where the DJ sets up and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It felt like going to Disneyland the first time I went there. You know, this is where I uh, got my chops, you know, as far as uh, learning how to work a microphone. The first microphone I picked up was here at the VIP. And I was like, you know, like, you know, a little kid, and, and I just loved it. I loved it. Calvin, <laughs> we need a drum machine. He was like, all right, how much it costs? 
When he got the drum machine, I started learning how to make beats and whatnot. I played drums at Poly at the school, so I kind of knew, you know, a little bit about music. And, you know, at, at that time, the drum machine is like $200, maybe $99. A nice little, you know, the drum machine. This one cost $2,000. And then one day, DJ Quick came in with one of his buddies and was like, hey, man, I heard you, DJ Slice, you know how to work this machine. I'm like, yeah, man, what you, what you need? And showed him how to work it. And to this day, he still says, oh, that's Slice. He taught me how to work the MP. I actually was the... SP 1200. I'm not here to take from Calvin. I'm here to embrace and let the world know that this is the world famous VIP LBC legendary, you know, record shop that is still here, still selling vinyl, still adapted to today's technology and how to sell music and get your music. You know, it means a lot to me, and hopefully everyone can grasp that and they can feel it, that the world-famous VIP has been a place for me, you know, as far as music and just a staple in my city all my life. I don't think I've had my funnest time yet at VIP. <laughs> I had fun, but I think I had everybody else's fun. My fun right now is going to happen within the next day for you. That's going to be my fun. This is the heartbeat of this city, the VIP Long Beach, period. Enough said. I don't want to know nothing else y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? This is where, you know what I'm saying, people who was robbing, stealing, doing bad shit came, and they got their shit together. He gave motivation. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah